Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Cancer from now until the end of April 2020. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos as somebody out there might enjoy them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back, and to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. Around here, we like to radiate with true love, <clears throat> happy, friendly, and loving types with nothing to fear, because we are calm and we are cheerful. All right. <clears throat> Let me just go ahead and do a little teeny tiny adjustment here. There we go. <clears throat> it looks kind of better, does it? We'll see. All right. So as you can see, I have three stones here, okay? And I'd like you to think of a question. And whichever stone you're kind of being targeted to throughout the reading is most likely the answer to your question. So at the end of the reading, I will reveal the answers of these stones, okay? So think of a good question, basic question, and we'll see if we can get those answered, okay? So this is for Cancer. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, this, these cards have been pre-shuffled, but I'm going to go ahead and shuffle another time. <clears throat> All right, it got kind of snowy around here last night. Kind of woke up looking uh, really pretty outside. Okay, general energy for Cancer is the sun. Okay. So, Cancer, you see somebody as your son, or you are feeling this kind of positive, fun, warm, and successful kind of energy, you know, around you. Um, there's somebody out there that you are um, thinking about, could be even involving a child, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and find out uh, what are the first three cards out for Cancer from now until the end of April 2020. So the first three cards out are, whoa, we have a tower. What happened? Oh my gosh. So something has ended, right? Yeah, and it's caught you, got you caught up in hangman mode, all right? Um, most likely you're just working on your money after all these, uh, this after this tower moment and this being in hangman mode because... Uh, <sighs> Maybe you want to keep your mind off of what's happened, you know, and it has to do with somebody who was actually your sunshine, right? Hmm. Let's see what else we got here. It's kind of strange, kind of weird. But we'll keep moving forward. We'll see what we get. Okay. Next three cards out for Cancer from now until the end of April are... All right, King of Swords. Okay, you could be dealing with the King of Swords, or you could be... Um, holding on to this energy currently, right? Wheel of Fortune, wanting to move forward after a um, time of waiting, right? And the Emperor, okay. And so it seems that you are working possibly on yourself because you are you could be radiating in this emperor energy, or you could be dealing with an emperor, okay? All right, you could also have air in your chart, okay? Or you brought something to an end with somebody who has air in their chart. Now, I will remind you that the king of swords is also the emperor in the normal playing card decks, okay? So just know that, that this is possibly one and the same person that you're dealing with, okay? All right, eight of wands at the bottom, so there might be some sort of message coming in to you, okay? Could be in regards to this emperor, right? It appears that this uh, king of swords may have gone on that will of fortune, and from trials and tribulations of life has become now the emperor, right? It's a possibility I'm feeling that right now, too. <clears throat> kind of got bumped up in ranks, right, from deception and all that stuff. The next three cards are 
Nine of Pentacles. So now you're also dealing with another person. This is a single lady, all right? Um, you're juggling, it seems, or the single lady might be juggling between two, right? The star could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you're having hopes in a situation in regards to your juggling or this juggling, right? It appears that somebody is dealing with two people. It could be the King of Swords and the Emperor, right? Somebody who's not quite the Emperor yet, but almost there. Look, and there's that, that Eight of Wands again. There's that Eight of Wands. Somebody's going to come in with a message for you. Either that or you're rushing to, to give somebody a message here, right? Um, I do see that a Tower moment came in, and... You know, right after you jumped on the Wheel of Fortune with somebody, somebody that you hoped would, um, you know, be the right choice for you, right? You've been working really hard on yourself. But there is a single lady in the mists here who's also working, and she is definitely always working on her money. This is why she's Nine of Pentacles energy lady, right? Um, she, too, may be juggling in hopes of finding some sort of hope in a situation, Okay, we don't know exactly yet. Let's find out what happened with that tower moment. Okay, why is that tower moment there? And why was somebody led into the hangman mode? Um, I've been doing the readings a little different for the zodiacs. I don't know why, but I'm feeling drawn to do it this way. So let's just go with it, you guys. All right. We have the tower and the hangman here. What tower moment brought on the hangman? What? Tower moment brought on this hangman energy. Okay, here it is, you guys. Somebody was waiting, okay, for something to happen. So maybe somebody was waiting for this tower moment. They've given it, they gave it a lot of thought, right? They we're in hangman mode for swords energy, and they finally made a choice, right? They made a choice in regards to the emperor. And uh, this Emperor, King of Cups, also involved here. Okay, now this could be male-female energy. This could be a female and her male energy too, you guys. Okay, remember that. But it appears to me that there could have been um, a person who stood possibly in her male energy and stood up for an individual. And this is why this tower moment came in and left somebody in hangman mode. Because somebody didn't want to deal with the bullshit anymore, right? Right. Yeah, that was between the Queen and the King of Cups. This was a, a relationship that came to an end and left somebody in hangman mode and has just got them started to just basically working on their money, right? To try to forget things. So, yeah, somebody walked away from a relationship. Okay. Wow, very interesting. Okay, what's at the bottom of this deck? Oh, we got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of this deck. So... All right, so, yeah, so they walked away, and they just went towards their Wheel of Fortune, which they might have thought, you know, would be like working on whatever they need to work on, uh, because possibly they're, you know, they're not, they're trying not to deal with love right now, okay, because it has brought them some tower moments, and uh, so right now they're in hangman mode, trying to figure out, you know, what to do, working on their money in the meanwhile, while, right? Um, let's find out who is this King of Swords here and why is he headed towards the Wheel of Fortune? Who is this King of Swords here and why is he headed towards this Wheel of Fortune? Who is this King of Swords here? <clears throat> who is this King of Swords here, please? Okay. This King of Swords also. So this this guy, he's waiting. This is the same guy we're talking about. He is uh, <clears throat> waiting for something to happen, right? <clears throat> waiting for his ships to come in, possibly for some money, right? He's holding on to something. They're very dear, very close to him. Might be a secret or relationship, money, whatever, right? Definitely going to come in somewhere, somehow, with a message of passion you know, to somebody, but is possibly feeling trapped, or the person that they want to come towards is feeling trapped, or they can't get a hold of them. There might also be some sort of block on communications here, I'm feeling. Um, but somebody is waiting for something to happen, because they planted their seeds, and they want those seeds to grow, right? And what's happening is they're up late at night trying to figure out how they're going to continue these seeds growing, because they might have possibly 
um, failed in the past at some situation, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of contemplation and hermit mode going on right here, okay, in regards to moving forward on that Wheel of Fortune. So somebody wants to move forward, but there's a lot of contemplation and thinking about it before they do it because they're not sure. They're waiting for the perfect time for this to happen, right? What they're waiting for, I'm not exactly sure. Um, well, we got the King of Wands here. So this person, you know, he could be kind of flighty too, you know. He can be um, a faithful father and husband, but, you know, but he can still be that same passionate guy that strays outside the marriage. Now, I want to find out why this Wheel of Fortune is here and we have the Emperor. Why um, is the Emperor here with this Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Emperor here with this Wheel of Fortune? Why is this emperor here with this wheel of fortune? Trying to find out if this is one and the same person, right? Uh, why is this emperor here with this wheel of fortune? Why is this emperor here with this wheel of fortune? Why is this emperor here with this wheel of fortune? All right, so let's see. All right, somebody's going to make an offer, possibly to the emperor, right, in regards to that wheel of fortune right? Because something came to an end in their situation, all right? So whoever is making an offer to this emperor, something came to an end in their situation, okay? So these are two different people, right? And um, the emperor can be male or female energy, right? Somebody could be really standing in their power. We have the knight of pentacles here. This person um, is also, you know, it's put, has put something to an end and is bringing a pentacle towards the emperor. So king of swords bringing a pentacle to an emperor. Hmm. I'm beginning to think that this single lady is possibly standing in her king of swords energy, right? Standing up for herself, right? This could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Um, but this is a single individual who's got their money going on and they she had put something to an end. Right. She had definitely put something to an end, something that she didn't want to invest in. Right. And this is why she is Nine of Pentacles lady. Right. She wants to move forward on this wheel of fortune. She, too, is waiting for the perfect time to approach or she is waiting for the perfect time to approach this emperor, possibly. Right. <clears throat> um, hmm. All right, so we also have the strength card. So she's trying to be strong in this situation because she's just got out of something that she's just not feeling anymore. And she wants to take a new leap of faith in another direction. All right, but she's not going to let anybody, you know, run her, right? She knows what she wants. She's going to speak up. She's going to speak her boundaries. And that's how she's going to play uh, play by ear now, doing it this way, right? King of Swords, there he is again. All right, so yes, this is her in her power. She's going to hold this power. So she might be, uh, she might have just met an emperor. Um, oh, but yeah, see, like she's going to stand in her power. She, I told you guys, she's not going to let anybody run her. She's not going to be dealing with any more three-party situations. Yeah, she's going to speak up about this. And she's going to speak up about it to an emperor, right? It's almost like she's going to state who she is, what she wants. Like she's going to put it all out on the table before she actually makes any kind of movement with anybody, right? And it seems here that she has spotted somebody, somebody holding that emperor energy, and she is going to definitely speak up about herself, right? So this could be you, Cancer, doing this, all right? Because you were involved with somebody in the past that would just, that tower moment came in, you weren't not dealing with that crap anymore. Um, that's why we had that king and queen of cups here, right? <clears throat> yes. All right, so let's find out. Uh, let's find out a little bit more about this Nine of Pentacles lady and this Two of Pentacles. What is she juggling, right? Oh, look at that. He's a Pentacles. So, yeah, she's looking for something new. All right. This could be you, Cancer, right? So you're looking for something new. And, uh, you know, you're, you're going to really stand in your power, though, this time around. You're not going to let anybody step all over you. Not going to be anybody's doormat anymore, all right? You're not going to let anybody take advantage of your emotions either, okay? So watch for that. <clears throat> um, I do feel like you are kind of getting into your power here, some your male energy speaking up for yourself and not letting anybody take advantage of you, right? So why is this Knight of Pentacles here? What's going on with this Knight of Pentacles and this Two of Pentacles? 
uh, energy. What is this? Nine of Pentacles and two of Pentacles energy. All right. So what we have next is, yeah, look at that. So you are working on, or this single person, if that resonates with you, is working on, you know, a new emotional beginning with somebody, right? But they want it with truth, right? You want truth now, okay? No more friggin' secrets. You don't want secrets. You want to lay it out on the table, right? And you're going to make a choice. You're going to be making a choice. Wow. Wow, Cancer. So it looks like you might be ready or somebody might be ready. Yeah, look, there's the emperor. So, yeah, it appears you may be choosing an emperor. You may be finding somebody and you're going to move forward with them wow very very nice okay so look things are coming up but you're still in thought process about it okay um if you are this single lady and you're dealing with that emperor yeah you are in thought process about it you're maybe you're juggling the thought of what can happen what it don't think too much all right don't think too much because you don't want to sabotage whatever it is you got going on right you don't want to think too much and start thinking about the worst and then, you know, sabotage, you know. Um, <clears throat> try to be as open as you can, especially if you are in that King of Swords energy. I know you can do it. Shit, oh, that, you know. Oh, look at that. The sun. You see that? But the sun at the bottom of the deck. So it appears that either you think of this person as your son or they think of you as their son. And this is very nice. This is very nice, but don't overthink it. Okay, yes, we've all been hurt. We've all went through things, but don't overthink it. Um, <clears throat> the best thing I think a person can do when they're thinking about something, not knowing if they can trust or whatever, something like that, I'm feeling like the best thing you can do is just be open and say, look, this, I have this issue. All right. And... Um, and maybe you're a little embarrassed about talking about it. Maybe you don't want to sound too serious, but you have that issue. And you just need to put a, just do it, all right? Because if the person likes you and understands that you don't want to maybe rush things too quickly or you're a little guarded against whatever, then at least you put it out on the table that this is not what you want, you know? And, uh, and if something starts to go downhill, it will be easier for you two to talk about it when the if the time should arise, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm telling you guys, communication is so important in a relationship, no matter what it is, no matter what. You should be able to talk to your partner about anything, right? <clears throat> All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull three cards here from this um, Psychic Tarot of the Heart, right? See what uh, is going on here for Cancer from now until the end of April 2020. All right. Um, you got to switch the roles, remember, on how it resonates with you. This can also be a um, same-sex relationship, okay? I'm adding that in. Uh, that's totally there, right? Same-sex relationship. It could be two men. It could be two women. It could be a man and a woman, right? But it, how it resonates, okay? It can also be um, swapped roles, as in a woman taking the man's role and a man taking the woman's role or energy, right? female male energy because we are going through some kind of switch and swap nowadays so you know, keep that in mind all right so the next three cards out okay we got sadness and isolation so yeah you're probably still hanging on to past hurts right and this is why you're so you know in hangman mode um hermit mode um a four of swords energy mode because you're still thinking about the past and and you may may have actually found something that you like but you're worried right you're worried because you don't want the same shit to happen as the last time right with the last with that tower moment right so you're probably going to go through a little bit of sadness and isolation thinking about this but this sadness and isolation will will allow you to blossom right will allow you to blossom into something uh, much better because this was much time needed to yourself to realize things right yeah this is a time to heal you see i can these cards, you know, I'm telling you there's something else. <laughs> yeah. And then once you do heal, you'll see that you will be able to share your love more openly, right? Because you're just going to realize that not everyone else is um, real mean and nasty. You know, not everyone else is going to cheat. Not everyone's going to cheat on you. Not everyone's going to hurt you. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Not everyone's going to do that. And you're going to realize that. Maybe right now you're not. 
you're not trusting. So it's really hard for you. But just know it's going to come along and it's going to, you know, you're going to heal from this. You just got to basically realize what happened and why. And most likely, which is a lot of um, our issues, is, is communication and really setting those boundaries and letting people know how we really feel. I, it's, I you know, I, I've under, I understand now that a lot of people are really emotionally um, detached or have a you know, lack of emotions, and this is what's missing right now in the world, and this is why we're having all some sorts of problems, right? So, yeah, <clears throat> hopefully you guys have picked an answer uh, to your question, as in one of these stones, and let's go ahead and find out what the answer to this first stone is. So if you chose the first stone, let's find out what your answer happens to be. Well, we have the Zuni bear, right? And the Zuni bear is represents good health. So you might be somebody who's in good health or dealing with somebody who has a good health, right? The answer to your question here is yes, okay? So the answer is yes, right? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but this is a card of judgment, right? You are going to be judging somebody possibly in regards to health or something like that. I'm not sure, but, <laughs> uh, or a Scorpio, so... Uh, also, this number reduces down to a number two, so that might resonate somehow, somewhere. Um, but uh, the answer to your question is yes, okay? <clears throat> if you chose a second stone here, we have uh, the fox. Cleverness, adaptability, somebody who is able to adapt to all situations. They're very clever. They've been in a lot of situations, and so it's easy for them. So uh, you might be dealing with somebody like that, or that could be you. OK, uh, the answer to your question is yes. And you might be wanting to work things out with a uh, Capricorn. Uh, there's a possibility that yes is um, the outcome of whatever you asked if you are dealing with somebody in that situation. OK, now third question here. OK, so we have the quail and the quail is um, protectiveness and group harmony. Okay, that's the quail, okay? And uh, this person is a very protective person, possibly protective over their family, their group, their friends, whoever, right? But this person is uh, like that. And this, or this could be you. This could be you that's like that. Answer to your question is yes. And if you're asking about maybe joining up with somebody in marriage or matrimony of some sort, the answer will be yes. And it could be also that you're dealing with an Aries, okay? So... Very interesting. Very nice. But, you know, we're all healing now, Cancer, and I think uh, that's what you might be going through a little bit of, and that's okay. We all, we're healing all the time, and um, <clears throat> we do like to keep a true love around here, happy, friendly, and loving with nothing to fear because we're calm and we're cheerful, right? Yeah, just, just put that in your mind, Cancer. Think of that mantra all the time and know, and you're going to see the like, loving qualities of people you will notice you know, soon enough. I started saying this mantra on here for like, uh, what, it's almost not quite a month, but it's been quite a bit of time I've been saying that. And to be quite honest, I have seen this. And... Um, me, I, I'm not a Cancer, but I do have Cancer in my chart, and I have noticed myself a little bit guarded with people. So this is also a trait that I'm carrying, too. Kind of a little nervous that people want to get close if people want to get close. And not necessarily because of the virus, but because just, whoa, it's just this kind of an odd feeling, you know, because I, too, have also had my own tower moment, and then it's time for me to move forward, right? So, you know, I totally understand what you're going through. Okay, because I my Venus is in is in Cancer. Okay, so um, <clears throat> yeah, so let's hope that this helped you out today. Okay, uh, just try to heal and 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 just to understand, not everyone is the same. Okay, not everyone's gonna do you like the last person did you. You know what I mean? Some people are actually like they're like diamonds, and you're not seeing it. You know, and I I feel that way too when I look around. I just saw twenty four twenty four. Okay, so that might mean something to somebody. Okay, all right, you guys. So yeah. Um, that's all I have for Cancer from now until the end of uh, April. Um, I am just kind of throwing out the zodiac signs, not really announcing when I'm doing it. Um, 
something happened. I think it was this moon phase that kind of, you know, sucked it to me. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.